energy, energy. This is Pretty Birds 2.0. I'm here to help you reconnect to your passion for life, change your patterns, and ultimately empower the grit you already have within you to thrive as a creator. I'm your host, content creator, media and voice coach, singer, and owner of the Podcasters Forum, Jenny Ren Stotrup. Hey everyone, it is week five, and I wanna tell you that you in fact can accomplish great things. So why is it that you're in a hurry? I'm gonna talk to you this week about how we have a tendency to forget about the fact that the hero's journey has transformation involved, that there's resiliency. I'm gonna get into why it is that we need to stay grounded because if we are grounded, it'll allow us to have better resiliency from our setbacks. We're gonna dive right into it this week. I can't wait. Let's dive right into it. This is Gritty Birds and it's time to create. Oh my gosh, I'm finally in the studio. Thank you guys all so much for being here today and listening. If you have been following along, over the last four weeks, we've covered a vast array of... um, Hey everyone, it is... I'm so excited that... Thank you guys all so much for being here. It is wonderful to be able to talk with you guys today because I am in the new studio. So if you go to YouTube, you can actually see the space. I've been working on this space for like a year and I have it dialed in in a way that I'm really happy with. And the sound in here is just absolutely delectable. So it's made it a lot easier for me to produce. This is hopefully going to be the last one that I do in the middle of the night. But it is why things are running late because I really do have a deep belief in the need for us to have self-care. And in that, and what this week's episode is about, what we're kind of going to be getting into for the next couple of weeks is about where we are heading and how this is a whole hero's journey. And while we have the ability to accomplish amazing, great things, we have a tendency to try to rush to the journey and we're missing out on a lot of the core pieces. So I want to just step back really quick and talk about what we've covered so far in the last four weeks. So far, uh, I talked about how I want you guys to start off where you're at and to not be afraid to work through the things you're, you feel less comfortable with because we really want to work with our nervous systems to feel comfortable through the things that we don't feel super comfortable with. And then the next week I got into trauma response, why we do the things that we do, how our bodies react to all of it, why so many of the things that we are stuck on that we're not able to move past actually have a lot to do with trauma and how our body has a tendency to hold it in and go through a fear response, which means that like we get stuck on things that we shouldn't. But we also can create issues when we avoid things. Da, 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 da. Last week was all about how you want to become the goal that you want to become. This is like the person that you imagine yourself to be. Instead of like looking at some big goal of like, I want to be blank, blank, blank. I want you to imagine kind of the like pieces of who you are, what it's like to be you in this position, especially as a podcaster, or, you know, if you are listening to this as a creator, as a musician or an artist, same thing. It's like, what is the future you that you imagine this might look like. Granted, I think anybody knows that like where you end up is not always where you imagined, but when you have the qualities and the kind of sense of your values and place in the world that you are firm on, everything becomes a lot simpler and you have a lot of a truer reason for why you're going to get to those goals. And then finally, I got into how we want to talk about success and we want to talk about our strengths. And I gave a really great exercise about how we can be reinforcing those strengths because we need to know the good things that we are already doing. So if we have those values and we know the things that we're strong in, it's going to give us a foundation about places to start from. And that's really where we're going to start moving along in this week. All of these pieces are important because we are building a a house, a big old house. And we got to start with foundation and we got to start with the structure. Anytime that we step into something new, there is a lot of excitement immediately. What are the first feelings that you have when you're starting something new that you are really thrilled about? 
Like, what are the, some of the expectations that come up in you? What are the, like, I want you to write down the last time you got really stoked about something. Like, what are some of those feelings that came up? Or if you've been podcasting for a while, or if you've been creating art for a while, or if you've been working on music for a while, when was the last time that you were really excited about something? And what were those feelings that you had around that time? Over time, we know that we don't stay there because we get disappointed. Things go wrong. We have started on this journey and we get super gung-ho about it because we're getting like a high from it because there is a lot of joy in making things. Like there's a reason we call it playing music. It's because it's play. But then we need to learn the pieces and it often is that people get stuck when they realize, oh, wait, I have to practice. It's not fun. Every time I've started a new kid, like in piano lessons, because I teach piano as well, it's an interesting journey of making it into games for them so that they can actually enjoy it. Because once they go home and they need to practice, it's a whole situation. So some of it's even training the parents about how to also make it fun and to be able to be there so that it doesn't become a chore because that is one of the things that can just pull joy away. And that's the same kind of concept that can happen with podcasting. But the problem is that we still have to go through a transformation. And if we don't have those basics, we're not going to get there. So let's talk about the hero's journey. So the hero's journey is what you're going to see in every single movie, right? It's like the hero starts one way, they're having all of these things happen um, in their lives, but they're just like not quite getting it. And then they have a transformation and then through the transformation, they become someone else and then the community all surrounds them and then they have success. There's a lot of ways you can apply the hero's journey, but one of the things that we forget in our whole growth journey is that if we're the person on that hero's journey and we're having all those frustrations, remember the part where like the hero actually has the transformation? It's usually where they realize that they're pushing themselves too hard. They're doing too many things. And when we have our disappointments and we get stuck in, inside ourselves and our, and our nervous systems, we're getting disappointed. We are tying to those beautiful things that we love, all of these like bad memories. We're getting stuck in like the we can't and like the loss of it because our brains really like going to the negative space. It feels strangely good to you know, revel in what's wrong and what we can't do and how bad it is. It's really very tempting. It becomes a habit that we are building into ourselves and it keeps us from being able to move forward. And we get stuck in this zone of, I can't do it. I I tried it once. This is like not working. I'm getting frustrated. We get in this zone where we can't see forward. And when we're frustrated and when we're in our bodies and we're experiencing all of that, quite simply, we can't think. One of the things that ends up happening in all of it and why we get to such a state is that when we get super excited about things, we miss out on all of the steps that allow us to have a good foundation. If somebody is climbing Mount Everest, there's actually these like wayposts. And then there's also the Sherpas that help climb. But not everybody goes to the top. In fact, even if you try to go to the top, the conditions might not be quite that you're supposed to get up there, right? You have a better likelihood to get to the top if you hit certain mile markers at certain points. If you're all the way at the bottom, you're probably not going to make it if once you get to a certain point, right? And this is similar to life. We have we want to get to certain markers, but there's things you have to do to build there. And it helps a lot if you have guidance to go through that. But so often people forget that in order to do Mount Everest, people spend between like 50 and hundred thousand dollars It's incredibly expensive. We're not even talking about the time that it takes for them to take off of work or what other expenses that this might cost them like in their lives. But like to do this, they've really invested in this and they've understood that like, A, it's life-threatening and B, that they just might not reach the summit. But they're going to try anyway because they've imagined in their goal, their hero's journey is to get to that space. They have a real clear vision of the kind of person that they needed to become to be able to get to the top. 
And that has allowed them to go through incredible risk, through incredibly difficult circumstances physically, extreme pain. I mean, like, ooh, like hard sleeping zones. It's very intense. When we start our journeys, though, sometimes it's like, I'm going to do blank. And we forget that a lot of the folks who've been doing this have been doing it since they were really young or they've had experience or they had a lot of different leg ups to get to where they are. But that doesn't mean that we can't start or that we can't grow to get to those points. Instead, we want to come from it at a standpoint of where we can learn so that we can hit a place where when we do have a frustration of something that feels like a setback, it becomes a lesson learned that we can apply instead of something that throws us to the ground so that we can never move forward. And I'm going to talk about this more in another week, but I love to think about this in the sense of like science experiments, how you have controls and you have variables. And your control is how you know whether the variable is working. But everything that you have are variables. It becomes really hard and frustrating to be able to know where you're heading. So if you're not keeping records and you're trying to do all the things and it means that like you're slowly getting better at everything, but it's just really slow and it feels chaotic and exhausting. There are a lot of routes that you could have taken that would allow you to be growing as you are, both with your experience and then also with your audience. Like, for example, where I'm at right now is this week is a little bit late because I've had a bunch of extra work come in and I ended up taking a a day job, (laughs) which is very humbling. But I wanted after my experience of the last year to really like focus on my health and the idea of getting grounded right now and experiencing and flexing my muscles in a place around other people is going to be really positive for me. And it also gives me the ability to keep working on these elements, which are my passion without as much stress so that I'm not taking on as many projects for other people. I love being a creator. And one of my goals is to be able to give more courses, to support more people, to do more coaching. It feels like frustrating to, you know, make that choice. There's a lot of thoughts that we have about success and misconceptions that we have about where we should be and where we shouldn't be and what it means to be where we're at because we forget that we just, we are where we are right now. But we don't live to like 40 years old anymore, like in the medieval ages, it's all whole life. And we do well in allowing ourselves to think about the big picture and to understand that the systems that we set in place, like for me, it's getting to two and this is way later than I need to go to bed, but I'm choosing to finish this recording and then I'm going to straight to bed. I'm not going to be editing this because I also am highly prioritizing my sleep because as I'm transitioning back into days, my goal is to always have a normal day schedule. In order to do that, you know, there's just these steps, but we get to choose how these all fit together. So where right now my choice is that things can be a little delayed here, it still keeps the show going. And my goal is still to stay consistent. I still plan on having this come out on Wednesdays and I'm taking the lessons learned instead of getting upset about the fact that it didn't happen. And that's where we need to be coming at in our goals is like, I want to get good at this before I add on more things. It's great to set high aspirations and dreams. And this is not a way of telling you that you need to set like, lower goals and you need to like think less of yourself and all those things. Not at all. This has a lot more to do with we need to be setting our foundations and asking for support and investing in support when we still can. There is so much to learn and we can go ahead and DIY everything. But 
our energy gets sapped so much because we're making a learning curve in something that there's probably an easier route to go. And we've gotten so caught up in, you know, being independent. And then we get frustrated about where we aren't at. But we have another way that we can do things. We are community. We can be supporting each other. And that means like hiring professionals. Supporting each other does also mean being a part of the economy that helps support creators. And you can always reach out to me. I can help you with your messaging. I can help you with your production workflows. I can help you with your recording setups and being able to really get your voice and have that impact. I can help you in all of those ways. I can take a look at your marketing, your socials, and I can recommend you to other folks who have specialties in other areas. We have the option of doing these things instead of trying to be so independent and being upset with ourselves or putting ourselves at an expectation and at a disadvantage because we're being frankly proud, a little too proud, when the fact is, is that it's completely normal not to know how to do things yet. And it's completely normal to take things at speed because we really should be strengthening our foundations and our rudimentary pieces before we're rushing off, focusing on this idea of growth and monetization. Yes, you should absolutely 100% have some things in mind to start, but the way that you're going to be able to have lasting foundation and strength is going to be, what does your foundation of your house look like? Because if the foundation of your house looks rickety, it's going to hit you later on and you're going to hit more struggles. So I want to encourage you to remind yourself of where you're strong and focus on those areas right now and allow yourself to keep it simple for the moments when you need to go to a base. Like those things that really matter, let's start there and get really good at those so that you are able to keep consistent where it matters. All right, everybody. It's so good to see you guys this week. Welcome to the studio. And I'll see you again on Tuesday. This is a really quick turnaround because I'll just see you in a couple of days. And on Tuesday, we're going to start talking about how we can make a plan, how we can prioritize, how our brain works. I'm going to get into this. We're going to get a little deeper into that science and control issue and about our anchors. So I will see you on Tuesday. Go ahead. Please send me a message. And you can go to thepodcastersforum.com and send me a hello. You can go to any of my socials. That is the Podcasters Forum on Instagram and Facebook. And we also have a group the, on, on Facebook. So please come on in and join. I'm actually going to finally get that rolling this week. So if you've been waiting to come in, I, I thank you for your patience as I have been adding my pieces in as I go because the goal is strength. The goal is not to do all the things at once. The goal is to have things foundationally awesome and then add in more pieces. So let's keep doing it. Stay gritty. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Bye.